This is a United States Navy Ohio class ballistic missile submarine, designation SSBN. The ballistic missiles most of her class carries are nuclear armed Trident 2 D5s with the capability to carry multiple independent reentry vehicles, or MIRVs. Many boats in her class have been converted for conventional roles by carrying Tomahawk land attack missiles and ferrying special forces, designation SSGN. These submarines keep the peace by deterring other nuclear armed nations from doing the unthinkable. But if the unthinkable happens, her class will be a primary target for the enemy. Welcome back to Scenario Fulfillment. I am Dash 89er, and today we'll be looking at how American ballistic missile submarines defend themselves from enemy submarines, surface ships, and aerial assets. Remaining quiet. The Ohio class was built to be a very quiet submarine. Some sonarmen who have gone up against them in training state that they were black holes in the ocean. With its seven bladed propeller, it's been reported to be quiet at its 20 knot cruise speed. And with specialized equipment on board, like machinery mounted on springs with rubber mounts and rubber tiles on the exterior to keep sounds in the sub, remaining silent and the measures to keep this submarine quiet is one of these defenses. The Mark 48 Ad Cap. Introduced in 1971, the Mark 48 Ad Cap, or Advanced Capability Torpedo, was an answer to the Soviets' fastest submarine, the Alpha class. The Mark 48 is a wire guided 21 inch torpedo. It has a range of approximately 25 nautical miles, a speed greater than 45 knots, and can dive as deep as 1200 feet or greater. With its 650 pound warhead, it was designed to explode underneath a ship and break its keel, but it can be used in anti submarine warfare as well. The torpedo can be guided by a wire or its own passive and active sonar to guide itself autonomously in the event the wire breaks or is cut. Speaking of autonomy, in the event the ADCAP misses its target, it can initiate its re-attack protocol and circle around for another pass. The Ohio's can launch these from its four torpedo tubes and they carry less than an attack submarine. These are primarily for defense, but in the event they are ordered to, they can definitely be used for offensive purposes. Sonar System The Ohio subs use the ANBBQ-6 passive search sonar to listen for any threats that may be nearby. It also includes the BQS-13 fire control array, along with the ANBSQ-15 high frequency active and passive sonar which is used for close-range naval mine detection, but can be used to detect ice as well. They also carry the ANWLY-1 acoustic warning system. It can automatically recognize sonar platforms and torpedoes, giving the crew an early warning. Torpedo countermeasures. The ADC Mark II, III, and IV. Once deployed at a preset depth, they will hover and throw off torpedoes and sonars, giving the Ohio's a chance to escape and or mount a counterattack. Radar warning receiver and electronic support measures. When operating at periscope depth for whatever reason, it can use its ANBLQ-10 ESM mass for radar detection from enemy naval and air assets. Degaussing. The Ohio's undergo a demagnetization process called degaussing in a special facility. Degaussing the submarine protects it from air assets flying overhead carrying magnetic anomaly detection equipment, or MAD for short. The Ohio class submarines are wonderful vessels with a dangerous purpose, and the defenses stated help the submarines complete their purpose once called upon to do so. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, help the channel grow by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and commenting about what you didn't know about the Ohio class. And if you didn't like it, dislike it. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and hide with pride.